I think everyone's familiar with the concept of, you know, a gyroscopic effect of a spinning wheel. So for example, if we were to spin this wheel here, right, you'll notice it's hanging on one point, but if I let go of it, then it maintains its stability and its position, regardless of the fact that it's actually hanging on one side. That is the gyroscopic effect. What I want to talk about in this video, and it's only going to be a short one, is about an advancement or another piece of that that we need to understand in order to be able to understand why counter steering is so effective and so necessary on a motorcycle that is traveling at speed. Okay, let's just revisit that gyroscopic effect. If we spin the wheel, right, the wheel wants to remain very stable. The faster that wheel spins, the more stable it is, the more it wants to resist the change in direction. Now, on a motorcycle, if we're riding a motorbike at high speed, there's only one way to steer that motorcycle, and that's called counter steering. And what counter steering is, in essence, is that we turn the wheel one way, but the bike responds by turning or running a line the opposite direction. So what that would mean is if we're traveling in this particular direction here, and this is the wheel of the motorcycle, if I turn the handlebars slightly that way, the bike will want to go this way, and vice versa. If I turn the handlebars slightly that way, the bike will want to go that way or lean over that way. Now, the reason for it, or one of the reasons for it, is what's referred to as gyroscopic precession. Now, a gyroscopic precession is this. When a force is applied to a spinning or rotating object like a wheel, uh, which is affected by the gyroscopic effect, so for example, if I were to push that axle slightly that way, right, which rotates it this way, I'm going to get a response to that 90 degrees to the direction of the force I'm applying. So I'm applying a force that way, the response is going to be that direction. So it looks like this. All right, we're going straight. I turn the wheel slightly that direction, and you'll notice that it actually rolls over or leans that way and holds its line. Now, if I steer it the opposite way, it picks up. Lanes over, picks up. Just a little bit of force. All right. That's called a gyroscopic precession. Okay, let's show the opposite way. Just to say we want it to go that particular direction, I'm gonna steer the bike just a little bit this way. Oop. <laughs> okay, if I apply a force, whoop, get it straight. If I apply a force that way, it leans over that way. And all I've done is pushed this axle on the outside here. The more I push it, the more it leans over. All right, the more I go the opposite way, the more it picks back up. All right, so it's just the opposite force. And you notice it's occurring 90 degrees to the direction of the forces I'm applying to that axle. So uh, it's very cool. Um, gyroscopic precession helps us, like I said, helps us understand why, first of all, counter steering is most effective and so necessary when a wheel is spinning on a motorcycle, which basically means at high speed. So I uh, hope you get something out of that.